Minister, I'm sharing, obviously, with my colleagues and our own spokesperson, Deputy Anne Rabbit, will be speaking at the end. I'm taking three minutes, Chair, if that's okay, and you might indicate to me so I don't go over my time. Minister, there's two aspects of childcare that I would like to address here with you today, and that's the provision of childcare service in any programme for government, and also childcare for frontline and healthcare workers over and throughout this pandemic. Firstly, Minister, I believe that the ethos for a programme for government must be to provide children's rights to quality service in policy, provision and practice. Practice. Before COVID-19, Minister, we saw 30,000 childcare workers and providers march outside this very building in protest to a crisis that was already existing and existed in the sector, with more than 60% of workers earning less than the living wage and parents paying some of the highest fees in Europe. That is unsustainable, Minister. Before COVID-19, the sector was at breaking point, with escalating insurance costs, um, various guidelines coming from various different, in, in terms of regulations and also low wages. At present, Ireland takes a very mixed, I suppose, pr approach to childcare, where well, you have the private creches and also the community sector as well. And it ends up, Minister, I feel that you have one se sector pitching against the other and not an even playing field. Commercial rates and spiraling, spiraling uh, insurance costs and poor paying conditions inevitably leads to a high turnover of staff and leaves managers in a terrible position that is really clearly unsustainable. And any new m government must develop an integrated, systematic quality support s system that engages all of the relevant sectors. One thing I feel very strongly about, Minister, is it is so important to establish a single comprehensive streamlined inspection system instead of this idea of five or six uh, groupings giving different, I suppose, guidelines to um sectors. Am I my three minutes? I hope not. Okay. Um, the second part I'd like to address with you, Minister, is <laughs> is uh, the absolute failure, I believe, of government for adequate child care for the frontline workers through this pandemic. Uh, though creches have been closed, many parents' obligations have increased and increased dramatically for frontline workers, nurses, guards, doctors, to name but a few. The lack of availability of child care has caused considerable distress, and that's coming from my own cases in, in, in my own constituency, and I have no doubt that that's the same across the country. We know that the head of IMNO has clearly stated that after after PPE concerns within childcare has been the most common issue for frontline workers. Minister, truthfully, many frontline staff have had no choice but to put their grandparents at risk, their children at risk and themselves at risk because the government up to now has not provided an alternative and I believe it is truly unforgivable uh, during a global pandemic. Gormaibas. Yeah, yeah,